Hey guys, Python is a very powerful programming language. It's also one of the most famous programming languages today, especially in the field of data science and machine learning. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Python on Mac. And I'm also going to show you how you can start writing and executing your first Python program. I'll show you uh, how to write and execute a Python program in three different ways. One, by using idle, which is an IDE which comes along with your Python installation. Number two, by using any text editor that you may have to write your Python program and then executing that program using the terminal. And finally, by using Visual Studio Code or simply VS Code, which is considered to be one of the best IDEs for Python. So let's begin. So before we can get started with Python installation, it's important to check if Python is already installed or if which version of Python is already available in the machine. To do that, go to your terminal and then type python dash dash version. This will actually show the version Python 2. This is actually pre-installed with your Mac OS. What we are trying to do here is install Python 3. So to check if Python 3 is already installed, just type Python 3 space dash dash version. And now you can see that I'm getting an error message. So this means Python 3 is uh, not present in this system. So let's go ahead and install Python 3. To do that, just go to your browser and type Python. The first website that you see should be python.org which is the official Python website. Click on download and it should auto detect uh, that you are on Mac OS and it will suggest the latest uh, Python version for Mac OS. In this case it is the uh, python 3.9.1 and let's download this uh, file. So once the, do once the download is completed, let's go ahead and install it. The installation of Python is pretty straightforward. It's almost similar to any other software that you might have already installed in your machine. So let's just proceed and let's enter the password. The installation should complete in a few seconds. We'll close this. And as you can see, Congratulations, Python 3.9.1 for macOS was successfully installed. So let's close this. We can move this to bin and we can close the browser. So Python is installed. To verify, again, go back to your terminal and then again type the same command, Python 3 space dash dash version. And now you can see that it's displaying Python 3.9.1. This is the version of Python that is currently installed in our machine. So. Python is installed. Now let's get started writing our first Python program. To do that, I'm going to show you three different ways. The first one is by using idle. Idle is an IDE which is uh, which actually comes along with your Python installation. So you can just uh, go to your launch pad and you can see it here, uh, idle. So click on that and it shows you this interpreter. This is a Python idle interpreter. Basically, you can write Python uh, commands here and see the output straight away. So let's just test it out. So let's write hello world. And as you can see, when I execute, it's displaying the output or let's say if I want to assign a value to a variable, uh, a equal to phi, and if I want to check the value of that variable, I can check it like this. So this is an interpreter where you can uh, write any Python commands to check it. But if you want to write a program, then you would like to open a new file. So either go to file and click on new file or just pre press the shortcut uh, control N. So this will open a file editor. So let's write a small sample program here. Let me just print like what is your name and then save the name in the variable name and then print the name. Okay, so I've written a simple program. Let's save it. I'm going to name it like uh, program1.py. It's important to uh, have the file extension as .py. This will tell to the interpreter that this is a Python file and it will execute it like a Python file. I'm not going to change the path. Uh, this is the default path where idle is installed. So let me go ahead and save this. Now to execute this uh, file or this program, what we need to do is we can go to run and then click on run a module or as a shortcut, you can just uh, press F5. So when I click F5, it's executing this program and you can see here, it's asking for my name. So let me enter my name and I can see the output. So the important thing to note here is 
You need to be in your program window to execute the command that is click run run module or F5 and then the output will be displayed in your, in your interpreter uh, window. So that's an important thing that you should note when you're using idle. Now let's close this. Let's try to uh, write the similar program using another way that is by using any text editor. You can use any text editor that you have already installed in your machine. So I have already installed Atom and let me just open Atom. So and let me open a new file and let me again uh, type the same program so i've written the program and let me save it this time i'm going to save it inside another f uh, folder which is inside my documents folder uh, which is the practice python and let me name this uh, program as let's say program2.py and let me click save now so i have written my python program in a text editor in this case atom now to execute this you, what you can do is just go to your terminal and here uh, the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to the path where the file is placed in my case my my file is placed inside inside my document so let me go to my file let me go to documents practice python and this is the program that i have written you can just press ctrl i and it will show here you can see the uh, full path where this file is placed copy that and go back to your terminal so and then here you just type cd and paste the path so now my terminal is pointing it is actually pointing to that particular path where my python program is placed to execute this python program then just type python 3 space the program name in this case the program name is i think program2.py so i execute and the python is executing let me enter a name and you can see the python program has been executed successfully so this is how you can use a text editor to write your program and save it and then use the terminal to execute that particular program so this is the second way and now let me show you the third way for the third way what i'm going to do is i'm going to use vs code so i have already installed vs code so vs code is one of the best ideas for python along with pycharm and uh, Jupyter, uh, Jupyter notebook there may be a few others as well so but definitely vs code is one of the best so uh, the first thing that you need to do to use vs code for python is you need to install and python extension so to do that just come here the last uh, section here which is the extension section just type python it should show the most popular or the most downloaded python extension in this case this particular uh, extension has been downloaded more than 29 million times so let me just install that uh, why this is required is because this will uh, help uh, the VS Code to uh, execute your Python programs. Uh, it also has many additional features like it can do your code formatting, it has IntelliSense, etc. So it's pretty useful to have this. So now the Python extension has been installed. Let me open a folder and I've already opened this folder here, practice Python. So inside this folder, let me go ahead and create a new file. I'll just press Ctrl N and then again uh, type the same program. So I've written this program. Let me save it. I'll give a name like program3.py and I'll place it in the same path, practice Python. Uh, let me save it. So now my Python program has been uh, created and saved. To execute this, you can just click on this button here, which is a run button. So when I click on that, your program will execute. And you can see here, your Python, your program is executing. It's asking for a name, and let me just enter my name, Taufik, and uh, so the program is executed. So this is the third way how you can use VS Code to write your program and then execute it using the same uh, editor. So I hope this was helpful, and uh, hopefully you can follow any one of this method to start uh, practicing Python. If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'll be posting more videos on Python, SQL database, and many more. So. Thank you.